Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix connectivity issue with My Hero Ultra Rumble game on your Windows computer. Now, first of all, switch to different game server. So launch the game first. Now, once you launch the game, go to game and then click on menu. And then go to settings over here. Now, over here, you can, you can see under gameplay, if it is set to EU, then you can select JP over here or you may select US. So selecting US has worked for many players. So you can try different game server. So many EU users are facing this problem. So you can just try to switch the game server. Either you can try JP or US. If it's already in US, then you can try JP or EU. So try to change the game server and then check. Now the first step is to make sure date, time, time zone and reason is correct on your computer. So on the bottom right over here you can see the date and time. Make a right click on date and time and then click on adjust date and time. And make sure set time zone automatically and set time automatically. Both are on over here. Turn it on and then click on sync now. Make sure that you click on sync now. And if you receive some kind of error, then you have to click on sync now once again and make sure internet is connected when you click on sync now. And once the sync is done, go to language and region and then make sure your country, the right country is selected over here and then check. Now the next step is to perform power cycle. To perform power cycle, shut down your computer first. Now after you shut down, unplug the power cable from the computer. Now after you unplug the power cable from the computer and once you shut down the computer, Press and hold the power button on your computer for a few seconds. So keep holding it. And after a few seconds, this will get rid of static electricity from the computer. And once that is done, you can turn off the Wi-Fi route. Now, once you turn off the Wi-Fi router, wait for a few seconds. Wait for 10 to 15 seconds and then restart your Wi-Fi router and then restart your computer and then check. Now the next step is to allow the game exe file to your antivirus program. So if you have any third party antivirus like Avast, Norton, Bitdefender, McAfee, Komodo, Trend Micro, any antivirus program you have, make sure that you allow the game exe file to your antivirus program. Now if you are using Windows security, then open Windows settings. Go to privacy and security if you have Windows 11 and then click on Windows security. Now, if you have Windows 10, you will have an option update and security in Windows 10. Click on update and security, then click on Windows security in Windows 11. Click on privacy and security, then click on Windows security. Now click on virus and threat protection. Now scroll down at the end. You will see manage ransomware protection. Click on it and then click on allow an app through controlled folder access. Click on yes to allow and then click on add an allowed app. Now click on browse all apps. Now go to the game installation folder and select the game exe file. This is just an example. You open the game installation folder of your game and then select the game exe file. This is just an example. I'm selecting any random game over here. You select your game's exe file and once the game is added over here, now type in control panel in Windows search box and then click on control panel. Now click on system and security. Now click on Windows Defender Firewall. Click on allow an app or feature through Windows Defender Firewall. Now click on change settings on the top. Click on allow another app. Again click on browse and then again go to the game installation folder. Wherever the game is installed, go to the game installation folder. Open the game folder. Select all the exe files. So whichever exe file you find it over here. Select all the exe file especially the game exe file and then click on open and this is just an example you add the exe file of your game and then click on add in my case this is already added so once added click on ok and then you can launch the game and then check now the next step is to run this command now these commands are provided in the video description so type in cmd in windows search box and then make a right click on command prompt app and then click on run as administrator Make sure that you always open command prompt as an administrator. Click on yes to allow and then copy all the command one by one and paste it on the window. Hit the enter key. So one by one you copy all these commands. All the commands are provided in the video description. So copy it, paste it, hit the enter key. 
copy it, paste it, hit the enter. Now, once you run all the command, you have to restart your computer. Restart is a must. Make sure that you restart your computer after this. And after the system restart, launch the game and then check. Next step is to try Google DNS server. Now for this, type in control panel in Windows search box and then click on control panel. Now click on network and internet. Now click on network and sharing center. Now click on your Wi-Fi network or your network, whichever is your not network, which to whichever network you are connected, click on the name of that network and then click on properties and then select internet protocol version four and then click on properties. Now select the option which says use the following DNS server addresses and over here type in eight, 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 eight and then eight eight four four and then click on ok then click on close close now you can launch the game and then check now the next step is to perform network reset now before you perform network reset make sure that you have the wi-fi password because after network reset your system will restart and when you try to connect to your network it will be asking for your wi-fi password so make sure that you have the Wi-Fi password. Now to perform network reset, open Windows settings and then go to network and internet. And then over here, click on advanced network settings. Now if you have Windows 10, when you click on network and internet, when you scroll down at the very end, you will see the reset network option in Windows 10. Click on network and internet and then at last you will see that uh, reset network. But in Windows 11, you have to click on advanced network settings and then you will see network reset option. Click on it, then click on reset now and then click on yes. Now, once you click on yes, your computer may restart. And once the computer is restart, you can click on the Wi-Fi icon over here and then connect to your network. It will be asking for your password. So enter the password and then connect and then launch the game. Next step is to switch to different network. Now, if you have any other network available over here, like you can click on the network icon. And if you have any other alternate, any other network available, you can try to connect to different network. If you own a different network, then you can connect to different network and then check. You can even try cell phone. You can you can turn on the hotspot on your mobile phone, on your cell phone. You can turn on the mobile hotspot, cell phone hotspot and then you can connect to your mobile network, your cell phone network, and then launch the game. Sometimes that also works. You can try that. Now, the next step is to use Ethernet connection. Now, if your computer has an Ethernet port and if you have an Ethernet cable, use the wired connection. You can use the Ethernet connection that will give you stable connection and then you can launch the game. Now, the next step is to update Windows 10 or 11 to the latest version. So open Windows settings go to windows update and then windows update or update and security and then click on check for update once all the updates are installed restart your computer and then launch the game so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to fix the connectivity issue with the game so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel